Welcome to Cinemax Japan Tech Talk and my name is Terry Gong and today we're going to show you how to set up a wireless network to do wireless printing. Wireless is fast becoming a trend in network technology because of its convenience and portability. Wireless internet networking, that is internal networking within a small office or home, has allowed computer users the convenience and flexibility in accessing not only the intermediate internet network but also the World Wide Web as well. With wireless PCs like the Toshiba A305 series laptops, one can not only take their personal laptop to and from work, but they can also do their personal computing at a local coffee shop, bookstore, or library. And they do all this with wireless router technology. Home router switch combinations are very affordable and so cheap now. Owning a good router and understanding your internet service provider and their services is critical to your connection to the World Wide Web. Linksys, a Cisco-owned corporation, has in recent years started very affordable home wireless routers for consumers like you and me. The home wireless router is an access point or a wireless hub that allows users to move anywhere around the house, the living room, the bedroom, the study to do their work. And now with the 802.11i or India protocol, one can do wireless printing as well. Network printing in the old days was an extremely complex process. Generally, it meant assigning a static IP address to all the office PCs. And then the administrator would have to set printing to an IP sharer, usually connected to a single printer. This process often required a network certified technician to make this happen. And for this very reason, network printing was for the most part kept within the office and never became popular for home use. The Windows operating system has really improved internet security with its own software firewall. And because of this, Vista has made manually setting, uh, the manual setting of IP assignments for each PC unnecessary. As you will see in this demo, both Lexmark and Linksys have done a wonderful job with their installation software. They make installation and the process of wireless printing as user-friendly as possible. Let's get started, shall we? For today's demonstration, we'll be using a Toshiba Satellite A305 S6861 and a Lexmark 6570 all-in-one Wi-Fi printer. We'll also be using the Linksys N Ultra Range Plus Gigabyte 4-port router as a wireless access point. The Linksys router is the key to wireless networking and is the access point or the WAP. The router provides two functions, connectivity, wired and wireless, and security. That is why when techs talk about routers, they use technical terms like WAP and WEP. Once again, the WAP portion gives you the central access point or AP and the WEP or WEP, Wired Equivalent Privacy, gives its users the same security as a closed internal wired network would. As a side note, the newer version of the WAP or the WAP2 combines connectivity and security the web portion is assumed. The procedure to set up wireless networking within the house is to first set up the Linksys router for secure wired and wireless communication. And it does so by installing software which first preps your NIC card to sense the router. Then it prompts the user to connect a standard straight RJ45 wired connection from the router to port 1. We'll do that shortly. After a wired connection is established, the software in conjunction with the computer 
will establish a WAP2 code to secure your router. Let's actually do this and see how easy it is to run the setup on the Linksys router. When opening your package to your Linksys N-Class router, you'll notice there's all kinds of signs warning you not to connect it to the internet. And here we see, here's the uh, CD, and here's the, here's the sign that says, run this CD first. Even when you take the router out of the box, and you, you peel off the wrapping, look behind here, they even put a sticker here in trying to make sure that you do not uh, hook your computer to the, uh, to the router and hook the router to the internet. The Linksys Corporation is trying to ensure that you do not run your N-Class router open or without security, which is very easy to do. Anyway, for more information about the different classes of routers and to find out which one is right for you, please watch our video on types of routers. The Toshiba Satellite A305 series laptop PC comes with both wired and wireless ports here on the left side. Let me pick this up and turn it over here. And we can see the wired and the wireless uh, uh, network interface cards. Okay. And um, the RJ45 connector on the left side is typical of an, of the, tip, has a typical uh, network connection. To the front of the uh, laptop, we find that the switch for the wireless network interface card. And uh, for more information on your network interface card, please watch our video, Finding Your MAC Address. Let me make sure that the wireless portion is turned off because I know that the software is going to prompt me to log in and secure the router via the wired or RJ45 connector. With our PC on, we will first start by inserting the Linksys CD into our Toshiba laptop. As a caveat in installing any software device, it's important to make sure that your uh, Norton antivirus security programs are all shut off, and then we can begin the installation. Okay, let's put the CD in the, in the laptop now. And here the computer is prompting me saying to check your security. I want to make sure that all the security is off on it and uh, we'll be ready to go. Move your head a little bit. Okay. There you go. Here it's, in, it's prompting us to install the Linksys wireless gigabyte router, which I'm about ready to do. And we just click on it here. Here we see the welcoming screen to the, uh, to, to the CD and it tells us to start. You'll notice that I don't even have the, the uh, Linksys uh, router connected to not even powered up. So it likes to, the, C, the software likes to start everything fresh from right out of the box. Okay, I'm going to hit start setup. And it, it takes a while for the for the programs to load. Here's the welcoming welcoming to uh, welcome to the Linksys uh, advisor setup wizard, and we'll go ahead and hit next. Of course, there's the um, disclaimers. You have to accept the agreement, and then hit the next button after you check the I accept the agreement. Now the Toshiba, now the um, Linksys software is now trying to detect the network adapter, both wired and wireless. I have the wireless, once again, turned off. It'll take a while for the, for the adapter to be recognized. 
checking our network status. Everything is green. We have our green checks there. And we hit the word next again. Okay.